Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This video, I'm gonna check out something that I've always wanted to get, but didn't actually get a chance to get. This is a 120 watt GAN charger. Now, Koval sent this out for me to check out, do a little video on, and if you have any modern day laptops or smartphones, if you're traveling around a lot, or you even just work around different parts of the house and need a charging solution, this one might be the one for you. If you heard of GAN technology, uh, I think it's gallium nitride. What is really special about these GAN chargers is that they take something that used to be really big and fit it down into something really small as far as power adapters go. And that is something that is really useful and beneficial, of course, if you're traveling. So when I was traveling, I didn't have something like this. In fact, I brought like a bunch of other different little chargers. None of them went up to 100 watts because 100 watts usually is a big power brick, right? If you take a look at laptop power brick, it literally called a power brick because they're pretty much the size of a brick. This is 120 watts. That's what Dick Gan technology is all about. Now, as, as I'm unboxing and opening this right here, you can see uh, the brand here is Koval. And uh, looking at the box, what you include inside the box is basically a user guide, a standard eight type style port plug. Port plugs in right there in the back and you got two USB A ports and two USB C ports. Total maximum wattage is 120 watts. Now, if I look at the information on here, uh, it has a user guide, of course, and um, and a thank you card. Uh, you should go ahead and check that out. I think I think when you register, you get like an extended warranty. And here we have this is the model number KV-PC001. They actually have offices in U.S., in Europe, and China. Uh, input is at 110 and 100 volts to 240 volts. And PD output has supports 5 volt 3 amps, 9 volt 3 amps, 15 volt 3 amps, 20 volt 5 amps, and basically 100, max, 100 watts max each port. The QC output supports 5 volt 3 amps, 9 volt 2 amps, 12 volt, to, 12 volt at 1.5 amps, and it's 18 watts maximum each port. So the theoretical possible really is 100 watts is 120 watts max. But generally, if you're going to do one USB-C device at 100 watts, you would probably do a USB-A at 18. You're going to do you're going to hit about 118, which is really close. That's pretty impressive. Now this feels pretty weighty. I feel like the plastics on here are higher quality than the set that I got earlier from somewhere else. So I, I definitely think this is the best power brick that I've had so far. And look how small that thing is. All right. So it's very self-explanatory. The great thing about these is that there is no special power option setting that you need to do. You plug it in and it figures out as long as you have the right cable. So if you use the cable that came with your device to go ahead and charge it using this, you're not gonna have any problems. This is USB-C specifications and it supports a lot of different protocols, uh, PD and everything all around. So this is gonna replace my MacBook brick uh, charger because it's gonna easily be able to charge any MacBook. Uh, MacBook Pro just fine and it is going to replace uh, at least a few other pieces uh, in my kit as well. Now some of you don't know but some laptops actually do support the full-on 100 watt uh, USB CPD charging and that's generally good enough if you're not going to be doing any super heavy duty gaming even at high resolutions you sometimes don't hit that 100 watt mark for some of these ultra thin gaming notebooks but if you are doing a lot of gaming unfortunately this will max out at 100 watts per port and you can't really double up on these ports in order to get there get to the maximum wattage that your computer might need but for everything else this is perfect and this this will allow me to charge super battery packs like this guy this is the storm 2 liquid i did a little video on this this will charge you in at 100 watts okay so basically in one hour i can have this 100 watt hour which is the maximum amount of capacity you can bring on an airline here in U usa legally and uh, i'd have that all charged up in one hour Basically, this will also charge your MacBook Pro uh, 16 M1 Max in one hour as well because it has uh, it'll support that full 100 watt output. But if you get a smaller battery pack or battery pack that is less powerful, a lot of it times it is limited. A lot of times it's limited by the power input uh, capability of that battery pack. So even though this can charge really awesome speeds and provide a lot of awesome power, your input of your battery pack needs to support it as well. So I have a link down below for this battery pack, which is pretty awesome. And uh, the, the one that I travel with now, and it, it kind of looks like it's kind of looks like it's almost a match for each other. And 
yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend you check this out. I'll have a link down below for this. You can get this right now on Amazon and of course it ships uh, via Amazon Prime as well. And one last thing I'm gonna say about this. Let's see, I'm, I'm looking down here on the actual unit and I see that there is a little power indicator down here. Let's let's get this in focus. Focus plugged in. This is just an indicator that that there's stuff going on. Now this is a green light, and it's dim enough that it's not going to be super annoying at night. Yeah, it's dim enough that it's not going to be super annoying at night. I kind of appreciate that. I really don't like the USB uh, power supplies that have a super bright blue light for whatever reason because we really don't need to be woken up by that we just need to have a little dim indicator to let us know that something's going on straight up what sets this gan charger apart from other units that i've tried that are actually cheaper and let's say less powerful is i can see the fit and finish of the quality of the casing is already a step above what some of the competitors do this feels really solid if this were white i'd say this fits right in well with like an apple product it really is that good now when i put it side by side to this other brand i can tell and look at the plastic on the side it scratches a lot more easily i can see the fit and finish here is a little bit off like the welding and the gluing just didn't quite fit right here if you can you, you can see this a little bit you see, these are the little differences that you pay for when you get a more premium product. However, I do like that this is much smaller. This is a 65 watt and this is 120 watt. And you can see there is a bit of a size difference and that they're both gallium nitride technologies, but uh, clearly this one has almost double the power capability of this little guy here. Now they all have their uses, of course. If you need more power, you need to have up to maximum that USB-C. Uh, PD supports which is currently 100 watt standard right now and that you also need a nice QC3 charger capable in here Obviously something like this is going to be the one for you if I had to pick between this brand and this brand Which I'm not gonna say I'm definitely gonna pick the Koval brand now pricing availability Link down below check it out. Uh, I'm gonna be using this for uh, my travel gear my travel kit it's gonna be in it's going, to, it's going to go with me basically everywhere that I know that I'm going to be needing a fast charge. All right, that's it for this video. Please give it a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.